Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as The Pop Air. Since today's video, it's going to be a two-part series where I talk about how I got my hair from this colour to basically this colour and all other shades of blonde in between and above, well, beyond this. So the first part I feel is essential, it's my hair journey. So if you guys are just interested in knowing what kind of products I use and how I achieve this hair colour, there's going to be a timestamp here on the screen. So just fast forward there and then you'll be. So my blonde journey started five years ago. Um, it was a gradual process. It wasn't like, here you go, bleach on the hair, boom, blonde. No, it wasn't like that. It was just more of like, I started dyeing my hair brown and then I wanted to go lighter and decided to add some highlights. So it was pretty much just around the fringe. Um, I went to hairdressers to do that. And then after that, I decided to do it myself because I was on a university student's budget. So I Googled on how to do it yourself at home, how to use highlighting caps. So that's what I started with, a highlighting cap, some bleach, bought stuff from the chemist and that's how it's pretty much snowballed. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I basically used a highlighting cap, there should be a link on the screen and down in the description box down below. So everything and all other videos that I'm going to be referring to this video, in this video I should say, will be linked down below. So basically what I did was I just kept adding more highlights and the areas that were pretty light already I would just touch up around the root so I would never, well, I tried not to get the bleach on the actual hair again so it doesn't, you know, break and snap off my hair, but that being said, it happened so many times, I, I cannot tell you how many. Okay, and then, you know, it got to the point where my hair was just very, very light and the highlights were just so chunky and they were so close to each other that they essentially started to look like this, like a really blocky sort of blonde, um, and that's when I started to apply bleach um, just on my scalp directly without the highlighting cap. Again, if you guys are interested, another video is going to be linked on the screen and down in the description box down below. It's essentially the same technique that I use to apply bleach to my scalp. So that's pretty much my hair journey. Now let's move on to the products that I use to achieve blonde. So if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you guys know that I dabble with different bleaches, different toners, different colours. I always like to experiment with different brands, but the ones I'm going to be mentioning are the ones that I always seem to be repurchasing. For one, they are quite inexpensive here in Australia and they're readily available. Unfortunately some of these brands may not be available overseas but I will try to link alternative products that I have tried in the past down in the description box down below. They may not be as affordable but they definitely worked out for me. Okay so the bleach. The one I use a lot is by High Lift. So this one is a blue bleach and this one is an empty container but this one contains 150 grams and I only use it really for touching up my roots and honestly this 150 gram one pretty much gets me by three or four bleachings and I bleach my hair twice so you know that's really great value for money. Okay now let's move on to the peroxide so some people say always stick to the same brand of peroxide because they've been formulated to work well with each other and I have found that that is true in a lot of the products that I have used um, so when I can I will try and grab high lift as well so this is peroxide so this is what you basically mix in with the bleach so the ratio that I use is two to one so let's say two tablespoons of this and one tablespoon of that and then I try and get a thick um, almost like a cake batter consistency. So in terms of volumes that I use, if I am bleaching my hair to just a natural tone of blonde, like to me, this is fairly natural. Um, I've used 30 volt, I bleach my hair twice, um, right after each other. Probably not the best idea, but that's what I do and I'm quite impatient, so that's what I do personally. Um, 20 vol, I don't tend to use 20 vol that often. I tend to use 20 vol for just touching up my roots, which I will be talking about in a second as well. Um, I also have tried the brand Innovative, which is also another brand that is readily available here. I purchase my products from Priceline, Hair Attack, and sometimes the odd hair supply shops if I ever seem to be near one. And obviously for bleaching, you need tools, so hair clips, a bowl, a brush, some combs, some brushes, you know, just anything to help make the process easier and mirrors or a friend or a family member that's willing to help you out. So, I mean, I've been doing my hair for the last five years by myself, like in terms of like colouring it. So I'm pretty good at using two mirrors to kind of gauge where I need to apply the hair colour. But also take note that my hair is quite short. Um, so if I do mess it up, I can always just chop it off. So if you guys have longer hair, obviously that is really hard to grow. If you can, get someone to help you out. Okay, next one is coconut oil. I have a video dedicated just to coconut oil. Essentially what coconut oil does is it 
acts like a buffer. So you know how like bleach is very harsh on the hair and it just really destroys the hair? This one kind of tones that damage down, but you still get that lift. Also the thing with, oh wow, that's turned yellow. This one's definitely, I need to throw that out. So another thing with coconut oil is that it does kind of dampen down the effectivity or the effectiveness of the bleach. So let's say you have, you use 30 vol, it kind of tones it down to a 20 vol. Like this is very technical terms, but it essentially means that the bleach isn't as effective. So you might have to go one step up or one volume up if you, if you can afford that. Um, so for me, I personally still stick to 30 and I just add a shot of 40 and I find that is enough to get me back to the normal level of lift that I'm used to without the damage. Now let's move on to toners. There are a lot of products out there that can be used to tone your hair. I personally use hair dyes. I like to use um, box dyes from the drugstore or you can get those tube colors from the drugstore as well, like they're professional grade or you can get professional grade hair dyes. Um, I essentially just take, oh, I already used the one in here, but I just take the colorant in the box and then I just get a 10 vol and just pretty much mix it equal proportions or sometimes even more of just the 10 vol into a bowl and then I put it on the roots first. Um, so obviously I section out the hair, put it on the roots, let it sit there for maybe 10-15 minutes and then run it through the rest of the hair for another five minutes. Um, and I find that that works and gives a nice tone to the hair. So the one I have in particular at the moment, and this is the one I'm actually using on my hair, is um, 60 Dark Ash Blonde. This is a staple colour. I always seem to go for this colour during the summer just because I want to still have light blonde hair, but I f don't bleach my hair as long, um, so it's not as light. And I find that the ash tone in this helps knock out that orangey yellow tone, um, but still gives me a nice ashy natural blonde, if that makes sense. Like that I have used to tone my hair as well in the past, um, depending on how light I got my hair to. I use this one by Color Live Color by Schwabskopf. This one is the Pastels Cool Grey, so like the Nana Grey hair. So that's what I also use to like just maintain the tone in my hair like I leave it in for like five minutes if I'm just maintaining the color but if I'm actually toning my hair with this I will leave it in for anywhere from half an hour to two hours and you know definitely knocks out a lot of that yellow tone and gives me a nice nano gray tone to the hair. Another option that you can use to tone your hair again depending on how light you got your hair to or how much yellow and how much orange that's still left in your hair you can just use a purple shampoo so the purple shampoo that I'm currently using is by L'Oreal Professional and this one is the Silver Gloss Protect System Shampoo. So this one is definitely more for like silver grey hair. Um, different depths of tone and purple um, will give you different styles of hair. Like this one definitely gives me more like a grey silver. I have tried out the Fudge Purple Shampoo which is an amazing purple shampoo as well. I have tried Dumb Blonde. That one I feel like it's more of like an everyday sort of like purple shampoo. So again for me my preferred method is just using a hair colour and then using Tenvol. I find that that's just more effective at banishing a lot of the purple, uh, not the purple, a lot of the yellow and the orange with out um, bleaching so much of your hair. I feel like if you have to use like colored conditioners or purple shampoo, if you have a lot of yellow still, you're just going to be disappointed and you just end up bleaching your hair again. So might as well just go ahead and use one of these. All right, so that's pretty much it. Again, this is a two part series. Next week, I'm going to be uploading the products that I use to maintain my hair integrity, making sure that it doesn't snap off and leave me with, you know, a really ratchet mess on my head. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys found this helpful. And if you guys are interested in any of the other hair videos that I have on the channel, they will be on the screen and down in the description box down below. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.